Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. Uh, I don't completely understand what it is. It says it's a uh, Easter egg hunting for Easter egg hunting. But if you look at it, he imported it from like a CAD file. It's got 104 objects. And there's only like 25, 25 objects on the page. And every, every object has four lines on it. I don't know how it was drawn, but like there's a line and there's a line and here's a line, here's a line. So that's not, that's not terribly bad, but the exception the, that the laser is cutting this way, then it's cutting this way, but then it's cutting this way. So if it's cutting in an order, it's going, and then it has to jump up here. So this would just take a few minutes just to encompass it and combine it. And what we're going to do also, we're going to open up Windows, Docker's Object Manager. And on that first layer, you can see all the curves, a whole page of curves. So if you'll just do that real quick with each one, and there's actually a hotkey, Control L. So you could just encompass that, and I can almost do it as fast as taking my hands off the mouse, just by going up to uh, combine. But we're, all of these have four lines. So we're going to go to combine. Control L, Control L. Control L, Control L. I'm just going to quit talking for a second and do it real quick. And I might not do all of them for the video. But even this big thing is made up of a bunch of lines. It's going to be a little bit harder to encompass it. Control L. Control L. Even this big square is made up of four lines. If you draw this, you shouldn't really ever have this problem. I'm just going to go and do them all real quick so we can count the numbers. Now, the outside is probably made up of the same lines, so it's going to be a little bit harder to do, but can be done. And we've still got let's see how many objects we have now. We've knocked it down to 36. What I would do is to group this together uh, safely. Uh, this whole thing is only six inches wide, so we change our nudge factors to seven. And let's just get these lines and just move them out of the way, just nudge them out of the way. See, it's made up of quite a few lines. There's a big problem right there. But then you can encompass all of them in control L and then just nudge them back. So now we've taken 104 objects down to 27. And you can see we can see them all on the page. Now it's going to cut that one first, cut that one. So it's still skipping around but not nearly as bad. And that was because of the order that, so those are good. And you could fine tune this where it would cut. And it does, it is going to, so you, definitely I would go and get this outside and control page up because you wanted it, you wanted to cut that last. So we're really good. It's going to jump around a little bit, but not near it's only going to jump around 26 times instead of 104. And as long as it does the last one. And if you wanted to, if you were going to cut out a lot of these, uh, you could move things around 
and you can always hit the tab key to see which is next. You could take, you know, this is your first cut, that big thing. Let's say you wanted the next one, this one right here, your next cut. See, it's way up here. You know, you could page up this first cut to the third spot. Let's just do it. Control page up, and you can watch it go up. Of course, it's going to take you longer to do this. Then, so there's your first cut. Whoop, I nudged it. So now your first cut is that little thing. It's going to go hit all the little things. Then it's going to hit those last four. Anyway, you could find to this where it would cut all of it in a good order. But honestly, if you're only going to do one, it's going to take you longer to get it there. Then um, you're going to take the time to cut it out. But this will help you because these are all joined together. That's one single line now. And if you look at it like this, it's going to, well, it's actually got some starting and it's got double nodes that you could delete or join, but it, it's still going to cut good. You know, you go up to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves, and Apply, and that becomes one node. Do this real quick see what it looks like with the shape tool so now it's going to start here and in there where this is going to have some double nodes but it's still going to still going to cut in that order it's just got double nodes anyway i hope that and see that doesn't that does not happen when you draw your own you know if you draw the same exact object and make it that shape it's all one line and then turn it into a hairline anyway hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching